Hi guys, I am Shazad Ahmed from Shakzi.com and uh, welcome in lecture number second. Today we are going to learn how can we create uh, our database and uh, how can we create a table. So here we go. And first of all, I consider that you have the basic knowledge of uh, PHP. First of all, Coding Nighter because we are going to create our sign up system and login system using Coding Nighter. Okay, I all uh, also consider that you have the basic knowledge of SQL and uh, of course object oriented programming in PHP. So here we go. Uh, you can create your database or tables using localhost. Uh, and uh, first of all, I am using XAMPP because uh, I I all I always work on XAMPP. Uh, if you are if you are a user of WAMP or LAMP, whatever you are using, uh, it's not mandatory for you. Uh, but I'm working on XAMPP. So you can also create your database, PHP My Admin using PHP your okay, PHP My Admin. But I'm going to use SQLio. So here we go. You can also create your tables and database using PHP my admin so here is the interface you can create your database by clicking database sections okay I'm not going to use PHP my admin so I'm going to use SQL yoke you can uh, also download SQL yoke from the official website SQL yoke and they are providing 30 30 days trial so don't worry so I'm going to create database. So first of all, database. What is the name of our database? For suppose sign up or project project uh, sign up system. Okay, it's better sign up system. Okay, create. Here is your uh, database. We have created uh, our database named sign up system. So we are going to create our table because we are going to store some information related information when we create our form. So we will see first of all users tables name users. So column name uh, for suppose UID and uh, its type integer length 200 100 whatever you are uh, writing primary key auto increment of course and uh, user's name for suppose uh, you first name yeah, or full name okay full name type varchar because uh, we are going to store string data in this field so i think 100 is enough not null and uh, also date because uh, we are storing we are going to store date in this in this column and uh, status you will learn uh, how can we its type is integer and uh, length 10 and its by default value is 0 okay and uh, whenever we send an email address to the user for activation link uh, we can uh, we always store some string you will see how can we store that string and how can we uh, send the activation link to the user so here is link okay it's a varchar and uh, I think uh, 100 is enough make sure we have ID we have full name date status and link okay uh, it's enough for this example okay save it's the save button so we have successfully created our user table and uh, now we are going to download our okay coding nighter setup coding nighter so downloads i am recording this lecture uh, in this time they are uh, current version is 3.1.4 when I am recording this lecture so we are going to download uh, our coding nighter setup so bad boy coding nighter dot com just type coding nighter create 
click on the download i am recording uh, this lecture uh, so coding writer 3.1.6 is the current version of this framework okay so uh, coding writer 4 is ready to download and uh, because uh, it's pre alpha release so i'm not uh, i'm not going to download coding writer 4 uh, i'm going to download coding at 3.x which is a 3.1.6 version okay uh, so hit the button download so when the download is complete we will see how can we uh, use that setup and by the way uh, i also consider that you have the basic knowledge of coding at 3 if you are not familiar with coding at 3 um, you go to Udemy and uh, learn how can uh, how to use coding data and what is MVC because um, I'm not going to tell you what is MVC in this course because uh, I consider that you have a basic knowledge of coding data. So show in folder. Okay, download 2.6. Okay, it's done. So uh, here we go coding letter 3 and uh, uh, I'm going to store that files in Azure Docs because uh, I'm the XAMPP user so it's it's XAMPP and uh, Azure Docs uh, if you are the user of uh, OAMP uh, you can put this file put this setup uh, in your www folder so paste here is 3.1.6 and you can expect Okay, so we will see how can uh, we configure our project using our PHP Storm because uh, I told you that uh, I'm going to use PHP Storm uh, in this course. So here we go. Just a second. It is two percent completed. I don't know why uh, it's response. Okay, uh, it's fine. You can rename your folder. Uh, sign up okay sign up it's a nice name <laughs> because we are going to create our sign up system okay you can uh, I'm going to select this folder okay open folder and uh, sign up sign up sign up sign where is the sign up and here is the sign up okay because I have okay sign up you can uh, I'm going to open this project in PHP storm uh, and uh, we are going to set up our and by the way uh, so localhost sign up because uh, because it, it's the beauty of coding network they have um, zero configuration and uh, we are going to set up config and config site URL we are going to site URL cop okay copy and we are setting site URL sorry not site URL but base URL okay base URL because it's the root it's the root directory and um, so it's mandatory uh, that's why uh, I told you that I consider that you have the basic knowledge of coding writer 3 because we are using so we are going to remove this index.php because we are not going to call that and we are going to create dot htaccess file for pretty url and uh, file dot ht access okay so here is the ht access file and uh, i'm going to copy some code okay dot htaccess file where is where is where is bad boy bad boy bad boy dot htaccess file copy and bad boy paste so uh, here we go uh, we set the basic base url uh, and uh, i'm not going to tell you why we <laughs> do that so i'm going to so we are going to create a sign up class of course sign up controller uh, sign up make sure first letter is capital 
sign up so here we go sign up and uh, of course extends to ci controller because we are going to control create our controller public and uh, of course public function public function index and now it's working and we can set our routes so config folder routes routes.php or you can pronounce root so welcome by default so sign up because we have just created our sign up sign up controller here is your sign up controller and uh, we set the sign up controller in root.php file okay so here we go so i have the okay it's working fine so it's enough and uh, if you think i am doing good feel free to share my courses and my videos and thumbs up so i'm shazad ahmed from chixi.com thank you for watching